Hi, this is Josh Abbott, the executive developer and co-owner of LFM. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use custom fields. LFM comes with a number of fields built into the script where members can enter their name, email address, and other information when they sign up. But let's say that you wanted to get some additional information or ask them a question when they join. You can add extra fields to your sign-up page to collect that information. Inside your admin area, go to the Custom Fields page and you'll see this button to create a new custom field. When you click on it, it will pull up a pop-up box where you can create two types of fields. There's a standard text field where members can just type in their information or you can create a drop-down options field which gives members a predefined list of choices that they can choose from. I'm going to start out by creating a text field. I'll enter a field name here, and then I can choose whether or not it's a required field. If it's a required field, that means members won't be able to sign up until they've entered something into that field. If it's not required, then they can just leave the field blank. You can also set whether or not you want the field to appear on the sign-up page and the profile page. You can disable both of these options if you want to create a field that can only be edited by the admin. This would be useful, for example, if you wanted to put personalized messages for each member inside the members area. You can do that using a field macro, which I'll explain in a moment. Now this last option lets you set whether or not a field is searchable. If you make a field searchable, then it will be added as a search option when you view your members inside the admin area. Now I'll just click Add Field. When I go back and refresh the sign-up page, you can see that the new field has been added. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a drop-down options field. You can see that it has the same options where you type in a field name and set the other settings. But now there's also a text box where you can enter the options that you want members to be able to choose from. I'm just going to enter 1, 2, and 3. Now I'm going to add the field, and then I'm going to go back to the sign-up page. And there's the new drop-down box. And you can see that members can select one of the options now when they sign up. It's easy to change the options anytime by clicking on Edit Options. You can also change any of the other settings for each field by simply checking or unchecking the boxes. Now I'm going to go to the View Members page. And as you can see, all of your searchable fields are now listed here with the other options. You can just enter a value here and then pull up a list of all the members that have entered that value for that custom field. You can also see that when I click the icon to edit a member's information, the custom fields will be shown here with the other information. This allows the admin to view and edit the fields for each member. Another feature is that you can put the values for the custom fields into your members area template and your custom pages by using a field macro. A field macro is just the name of the field in between two pound signs. So as an example, I'm going to copy this field name and then I'm going to go into my templates. And this is the members area template. So in the place where I want the value to be shown, I'm just going to paste in the name and then I'm going to put a pound sign on each side. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to log in as a member. And as you can see inside the members area that the value for that custom field is now in the place where I pasted the macro. And that covers the basics for using custom fields in LFM.